a startup. Yes, you've got us. And I'm with a very interesting company here. And I've got a Jeb Hard, managing partner of Gilid. Now get that name, that's a great brand, watch out for that. And Gilid Solutions, originally a Ge it's a German company. Is that right? Uh, right German, we're, we're design. German design. German design, German design yes. but based in Hong Kong, like the best of both okay. worlds. Okay, so tell us about your product uh, you've got here. Right, well, uh, it's uh, basically it's a charging station. It's called right. Zentry. Okay. And um, you can charge up to four different uh, mobile devices, so both tablets, mobile phones, wow. uh, smart watches, basically any device that, that you'd like. Wow, yeah, see, so like a tablet here. Yep. I like it. You can put it this way, that way, any way, is that right? Any way you like, yes. I and, love it. Uh, we've got different colors, so there, it's a silicon top cover. Yes. Skin that you can change. Uh, right. It's washable as well, so if it gets dirty, you can just wash it off. Um, the idea is you can put it either in your office, your home, your bedroom, uh, wherever you like. And can this come off? Yep, it just peels off from here. So you can see. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at the function. Oh, that just peels off and then you can watch it. Wash it. Wash it, right? Wow. If you want to open it, you just press once here and once here. Yes. Okay. Open up. Wow. You can hide the cables inside. That's so you have simple. Cable management inside there. Wow, so you can actually change yep. this. You can have uh, lightning cables. Uh, you can use uh, micro USB cables, whatever you prefer. Wow, I like it how it's so decompactable and then put it back together and then pull it apart. Right, you yes. just plug it into the mains in the back. Right. So, uh, so the power supply okay. is all built into so, the device. See so a power supply coming in, all right? And so let's have a look at some of the standards of the power. So we're talking about a 1.2 amp max. Right, so and the output total. Right, 9.6 amps. 9.6 So that can amps. support four more charging units depending on how fast the rate of charging is that's right yeah. right wonderful oh this is great so tell us about your funding have you done any funding campaigns on this product uh, well we we launched uh, we, we tried a funding campaign on uh, Indiegogo right uh, we found that a little bit challenging though uh, Wow yeah but uh, actually the, yeah. the product is it in process or finished no we completed right. that and how many backers did you get not very many not many just a few so you didn't reach the target no, we did. Uh, so what happens when you go target in Indiegogo? Well, uh, with Indiegogo, um, we just uh, fulfilled the orders we got. Right. So uh, it doesn't mean the, ca the, the, the campaign stops. Uh, basically right. Basically, just meant that. Uh, but it's we much less to... volume what you expected, right? Right. So how many did you get? Uh, I think we had uh, nine or ten backers. Right. Okay. Uh, but they were still um, very important for us. So they, when yes. they, when the product came out, they we, we shipped the products out to them. Yes. And, uh, they're all really happy with it. So it's a chance to get feedback from them, right? Right. So uh, my next question is, yeah, what? two, three things of feedback did you get from these backers? Uh, they wanted more colors. More color. Uh, so we started with the green, right. which is very eye-catching. Okay, so this uh, is, they, yes. wanted, they wanted more colors. Right, and so uh, now we've got more colors. Right. Okay. And uh, now the product's on Amazon. So uh, thanks to Global Sources and yes. Launchpad, you can find the product now on Amazon. Oh, so it's on Amazon now? Yeah. Sold directly from your company? Right. Right, okay, that's good, number two. What? Any other feedback did the, these backers give you? Uh, they wanted more cables, uh, so they wanted more different cables. So we provide ah, just uh, USB okay. right. micro cables for um, uh, Samsung devices, but uh, the Apple users wanted uh, their Lightning cables. Well, that's you. Could, they could put their own cables in anyway. They could put their right? own cables. They wanted us to include the cables like out of the box, or they wanted us to use say wireless charging. But with wireless charging, uh, yes. the charging speed is, is a lot slower. It is so, true, uh, and. That's interesting when you say that because the Apple doesn't have a wireless charging in it. Right. The it's iPhone, you need to put a little sleeve underneath the iPhone uh, right. with a lightning cable and then you can do wireless. Right. Yes, um, my, I need to introduce you to my friend in Charming Pop because he's uh, okay. had that challenge too. Because he's got a wallet where you put the phone in that charges while you carry it around. So interesting. So you've got color and they want different cables different and cables. any other feedback? Um, maybe quick charging features later on. Quick charging. Yeah. Mm, okay. Yeah. Well, this is, I like this. I like, it looks fun. Yeah. It, it doesn't look too clinical, right? Right. And the build looks pretty strong, like. It's a way to yeah. sort of organize all yes. your mobile devices I in like one location it. instead yes. of using multiple. And when you're not using it, it doesn't yeah. look like a piece of rubbish sitting on right. the table. Right? <laughs> it looks like art, right? Right. possible yeah and I'm just saying right. you, you could actually buy the pops separately you can yes is that a new thing that you're doing now yes now that they say I want different colors 
yes. you can just sell the silicon the silicon uh, skins we call them you will oh. be sold uh, separately and then they become accessories right like an accessory and exactly. then then you have a whole family of accessories to go with the base product right. well, like like Xenia's showing out uh, like the, like a wood paint at the bottom wow I, I, uh, for your alpine cabin perhaps yes uh, i like it wonderful so now you gotta buy one of these for every room the yes <laughs> Like everyone has two or three of these devices these days. It's just, uh, right. well, amazing, amazing. So th those nine or ten backers that you got turned out to be very, very valuable because right. they're giving you feedback on what, sure. and that's what it's all about at this stage. Okay. So what are you doing for the next stage now? Now you're on Amazon. Have you worked at trying to get a formal distributor getting into some Best Buy or buy over in uh, in the US or other countries? Yes, we've been trying to um, uh, to get into uh, more retail channels as well. Um, yeah, it's proving a little bit challenging. Uh, it seems um, retailers are a bit con concerned about the size of the, the product. It comes in a box, oh, uh, which is fairly large. The box is too big. Uh, the box is too big. Uh, right. so they want smaller, smaller products, uh, oh. especially like in Hong Kong, for example. Uh, Can you would... package it so the sil no, it can't. just sticks out, doesn't it? Right. Unfortunately, okay. it's, it's quite a bulky product, so that's the challenge. Yeah. All right. So we've got, oh, that's we've got interesting. another one, like the fours over there, the black. Right. Uh, charge, which is smaller, and, and okay. uh, that that seems to be a bit. That's interesting. A bit, a bit that better. is a very interesting thing for startups that are watching this. That the size of the product has become a challenge for you in pitching to distributors, yes. because they think, okay, how uh, if we buy a hundred of these. How much space is that 100 going to take up? In the stores or yeah. in the warehouses, yeah. Yeah, and then that costs money to hold. Right. Wow, I see what you mean, yeah. yeah. Wow, any other feedback the distributors give you? Do they want a Planto Grand to go with this? In other words, something I, when you go in the store, they talk about the, was it the 10 feet rule and the three feet, three foot rule, something like that. So 10 feet away, you're attracted to it. You can see certain features that, oh, I want to know more. Then you get to three feet and then you see all the detail. Uh, distributors talk to you about that? The Planto Not brand? really, no. No, okay. no. Okay, have a talk to NanoLeaf. They, okay. They're around here somewhere because okay. they, they've cracked it in terms of getting into some of the big retail shops in the USA. But it wasn't just their product, but they had the Planto brand, the way that the product is displayed. So when you go to the distributors, you're not just pitching the product, you're pitching the whole display. And then distributors, they can picture how that looks in the shop. And then it's easy for distributors to go and, and then pitch that to their market. So interesting. I'm not an expert, but just talking to other startups, this is some of the feedback that we're getting. So, okay, one last question. Yeah. Where is this made? Oh, it's made in China. Okay. Yeah. Sinjin? Uh, yes. Bowan? Uh, somewhere in Sunjin. That's right, yeah. Okay. Pretty close. Somewhere, yeah. somewhere, 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 in somewhere. Okay, that's fine. And why us that in Sunjin? Have you had direct connection with the manufacturer of this? Or is there some other partner that works with the manufacturer? Uh, no, we've worked directly with the manufacturer. Okay. So, can uh, what has been your biggest challenge in making this product? Um, I guess instead of uh, managing the supply chain, so even uh, so, it's the silicon comes from a different supplier. The right. Cables come from a different supplier. The power cord comes from a different supplier. So it's uh, it looks like a relatively simple product, but there are actually uh, a lot of the different components that go into it. That's uh, that's a challenge. That's it. Oh, so you couldn't, and the plastic comes from a different supplier. Yeah. <laughs> and okay, can I just ask you about the manufacturing process? So, it, who does the final assembly? You, do you have an EMS provider that? Does yes. that? So basically, one supplier is bringing in silicon, one bringing in the plastic, power cords, and the EMS puts it all together. Right. And okay. Then it's also tested, and uh, there's a sort of right uh, time it takes for like a, I suppose you could call it like a burn in. Well, uh, that's make sure very important. Work. Burn in is basically just running it for non stop for eight hours, 10 hours, and actually having units and actually just working it. Right. Working it to the ground to see if there's any temperature problems 
and charging problems and things like that. Right, wonderful, wonderful. And also there's always cable testing and things like that. Wonderful, wonderful. What, so the biggest challenge is actually sort of, what would it be? Because EMS would actually take care of a lot of the coordination challenges, right? Like, did you go to the EMS provider and say, this is what we want to make, and then they actually chose, oh, I know where you can get this made, I know where you can get this made, I know where you can get this, leave it to us. Or did you tell them, please go to A, B, and C and get them to source from them? I'd say it was a little bit of both. Right. So they sometimes they provide us feedback with their existing uh, suppliers right. for cables. And sometimes we said no, we'd rather use our own supplier for right. packaging materials or the blister. Um, yes. So it was a little bit of both, that's it. Right. So on the packaging, yeah. that's totally, you know, that's on a separate issue yeah. because sometimes you want to hide that from the suppliers so they don't go and Right. Or we have an up. existing relationship with a right. supplier that's kind of that's more with, a, with another or, product. Right. You've been there and yes. done that before, haven't you? Yes, with other products. All right, before, so yeah. that helps, all right? They're not the first yeah. to go into China and start manufacturing, so you've used that experience. Right. But even with that experience, you've had some... Give us one or two headaches that you had. Uh, one well, or two well, specific things. when you're starting something new, um, the quantities that some suppliers may ask for may be far higher than you could right. start off with. You mean the again. sub suppliers or the EMS? Uh, the sub suppliers. Sub yes. suppliers? So, uh, so, what quantities were they talking about in minimum? Uh, well, sometimes the, the power cord could be a minimum cord. The starting quantity could be 10,000 units for wow. uh, the power cord. Then okay. that's why, where it comes in handy to oh. work with someone that. So, yes, yes. So, yeah. we're talking about the cord that plugs into here. Yeah. Yes, okay, uh, all right. They all have to be certified and there's a, there's a minimum order quantity for that. Right. So, um, yeah, could, that, that can be tricky at first, but... 10,000. Um, yeah. Yeah. At other times, it's, uh, it's not so much of a problem. Right, okay. Yeah. Well, it's good if you've got multiple products, because then you can use the same power cord for multiple. Yes. If you, they all have power. Right. And then what about the MOQs for the one that provides silicon plastic? Do you have any problem with them? Uh, not really. I mean, we've got like inquiries for uh, companies that want to have, say, have their own logo on the product, like, oh. have, uh, or, or change have, the, have a specific color for that. Right. Um, the MOQ for that is about a thousand units. Right. Okay. That, that is that. The restriction is the silicon supply. Now, now this is sil this is silicon, right? Right. Silicon. So technically, uh, you're selling into the U.S. Yes. So therefore, it has to have FDA approval. Really, it's not a. Uh, like a say a wearable product, so it doesn't right. come in contact with your skin. It, it's not a uh, product that needs like a FDA approval. Oh, okay. So you didn't uh, need like you uh, didn't the electronics, which need to be. Uh, oh, okay. So you didn't need to have that part of approved. No. Oh, okay. All right. So it matters silicon generally does have to, but great point about silicon with wearables is different from silicon on a separate product right. like this. Okay. So. Wonderful, wonderful. I really appreciate your patience with all my questions. Amazing product. Let's just review this again. We've got all these wires at the back. We've got one single power goes in at the front. We have all the right compliance standards, U, UL and CE. It doesn't do wireless, so it doesn't need FCC yet, but if you put wireless in there in the future, yeah. And then you're going to have FCC and everything like that. How much are we selling this for again? Uh, it's on Amazon at uh, 49 US dollars. Sorry, I took so long in this interview to get to the price. <laughs> so thank you for waiting. Maybe if we <laughs> put it in at the front. 49 US dollars Amazon at the moment. That's right. Are there any variations of that? Like you can buy the silicon separately for different colors? Um, not yet. That, that'll oh, yeah. come soon. Okay, so still... 49 US dollars. Yeah. And where do people go to buy this? What brand are they looking for on Amazon? Are they looking for Gilead uh, or, or is there Zentry. another brand? Or uh, uh, they can just uh, type in uh, Zentry. So oh. that's the name of the product. Okay, let's get this here. Zentry. Zentry. So right. the actual product is called uh, Zentry. Zentry. Yeah. Okay, Zentry. And Jeppard's been in Hong Kong for a long time and master of sourcing based on what I learned something from you today. <laughs> and there's their product. So check this out on Amazon and check out Zentry and also look out for 
G-Lead solutions for your other products that you have in the future. All right. And thank you for coming to the launch pad. Thanks a lot for having me. Thank you, thank Chepa. You. Thank you. And thank you for coming. Uh, this is O'Connor at Startup Launchpad. Catch you in the next booth. Bye for now.